Once it hits your lip, it's so good. Hello, hello, and a thousand times hello. Hello. Welcome to yet another True Jinx, huh? Now, this is a long time coming. When was the last two drinks we did? A while ago. A long while ago. Of course, they won't really know that much. Now, the problem with two drinks in is you need to be two drinks in in order to do it. I said, I said it. Yeah, I know. And the problem is normally when we do that, we're... Did you say it twice? Possibly. And normally when we do that, it's we go to Norebang or it's whenever we go out for Wings Night. And it's just not a very good place, time or location to record these. Oh, well, yeah. And also, you, we can't just be like drinking in the middle of the day. It's got to be at night. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And we could drink in the middle of the day, but. <laughs> we're, we're not Ajishis just yet. We have to upgrade first. Now, yeah. today we're going to talk about a topic that is, uh, of course, very near and dear to the heart of Jamin Near and dear to my heart, Bissette, and his fellow accomplice, James the Yellow Dart. Yeah, it's James Yellow Darpa said. Now, we're going to talk about why the 90s were so awesome. Well, for one, I was born in the 90s. That's, that's not freezing right there. That's true. Now, to be perfectly honest, when I think back to decades, generally the further you are away from them, the more awesome they seem. The 40s, the 50s, they seem awesome. Everyone who lived through the Great Depression or everyone who lived through the Korean War probably thinks they suck. <laughs> <laughs> like a lot. Or probably the grandparents of any of my, my black friends probably didn't enjoy that era either. But, wow. yes, but here we are talking about a decade that's very close to us. In fact, a decade only one removed. So why is it that we're so fun in the 90s, James? I think it's because of all of our great memories. Obviously, what we said, we loved our childhood. It was, it was pretty freaking awesome. Yeah. And, well, in the 90s was our childhood. We, we were poor. We were poor, but we were able to get by. Yeah. We weren't like, you know, can't, you know, dirt poor. We couldn't do anything. We were poor in the sense that we couldn't, you know, we couldn't, our parents didn't buy us all the flashy things. They bought us exactly what we needed and our Christmases. Yeah. Every Christmas, we'd still get this big gift that we're, we were like, okay, Santa has to exist because we know our parents can't afford it. <laughs> so we, we were, we were uh, poor, but not like super, super duper poor. I still remember getting a white ranger outfit and the Sabu talking tiger sword for Christmas. And this blew my mind because that's way more than my parents were able to spend. And I still don't know how they did it. But I love you for that, Mom. Yeah. Luckily, when I came around and started growing up, we uh, actually got a little more money. Uh, dead or tired. From the army a little after I was born. So right when I was about three or four, we settled down at the farmhouse. You were born in 94. You retired in 99. It's five years. Um, yeah, so after we moved, officially moved into the farmhouse, he retired. Um, around, that, around the same time. It's crazy. Yeah. And uh, that really helped, money-wise. Um, I know we would always get, like, something brand new. Like, uh, we got a foosball table the one Christmas. Yeah. We would always get one big family gift every Christmas. And, uh, we got air hockey table the one Christmas. Yep. It was just, it was super amazing. And, well, back on track with the 90s, of course. That, that's part of it. I mean, growing up at the farmhouse, growing up in the 90s was just freaking awesome. Some of our favorite TV shows played through the 90s. May have started in the 80s, but played through the 90s. Home Improvement. Fresh Prince of Ballet. Family Matters. Angry Beavers. Ah, that would do you see Full House? No. Full House. Was that in the 90s? Well, certainly. Okay, I'll accept it. It started in the 80s, but where is it? Yeah, 90s. Okay, like a lot of the shows. Um, okay, how about uh, Batman, the animated series? Oh! Darkwing Duck. Do DuckTales. Ah, Tailspin. Okay, well, seriously, we could do this all, <laughs> all day. Boy and Bean, some of the great Scooby-Doo. So, Power Rangers. Oh, 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 are you going to do this? Is it Blue's Clue? No, I'm just kidding. I'm pretty sure that was thousands. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard better jokes. <laughs> Doug, how about you? Will you accept Doug? Doug, I will accept Doug. do 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 Anyways, point being, some... There's a lot of kids being this pathetic. <laughs> Doug loves you, James. Just screw you guys. <laughs> okay, I take that back. Doug was a horrible part of my childhood. <laughs> Anyways, it's like, on all the Pokemon. That's Pokemon. That's when it all started, in the 90s. I mean, okay, let's, let's face it. Video games were starting to become legit. The PlayStation 64. 
All you big RPG fans, Final Fantasy 7, 8, 9, all 90s. Yeah, it was. Well, late, late 90s. Actually, 6, 5, 5, 6, 4, 5, 6 was all 90s. Shut up. <laughs> we don't know that much. Point being, a lot of the greater, greater systems and games, a lot of the amazing TV shows that were like, okay, the TV shows we have now are butt. Because the even shows I like, like The Big Bang Theory, and it goes as a uh, home improvement. Yeah, well, not only that, but like b The Big Bang Theory, the things that make me just, uh, me personally laugh the most is the nerd jokes. And but you notice that they have characters in there like Wallace and Bernadette, not Bernadette, but uh, yeah, the, the one, Amy. Yeah, thank you. Yes, Amy. Uh, and Bernadette, all pretty much all of them. I mean, like they have so many characters who just talk nothing about sex the entire time. And it's just like, well, but Bern mm. Bernadette, Bernadette's not that, that bad. Yeah. Although, like, you know, before like, they're totally off topic. You know, before we talked about that about plastic surgery, about people whose figure don't really fit yeah. their shape. She's definitely like that. Have you ever noticed? Like, she's. Yeah, I'm not saying that she has plastic surgery. Just saying. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, just saying that God blessed her in in ways that that make you do a double take. Like what? What? But she's still a very pretty actress. Right? I think it's it. She's a funny voice, but not a good way. I'm 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 in nerdy girls. My wife actually wears glasses, but she does the contacts thing most of the time. Yeah. But anyways, the point being, like nowadays, they got little kids shows. The, the most popular little kid show probably is SpongeBob. And it has its moments. Point being, though, most little kid shows are just little kids. Most adults, or most even teenagers, won't watch it. The TV shows we grew up on, I'm still watching them because they're classics. They're just freaking amazing. They're freaking amazing. And, you know, so there's, there's just, there doesn't seem to be much middle ground anymore. It's, all right, th there's nothing but violence, sex, language, whatever here. And th here, it's, the, it's just really, really dumbed down. Little kids don't have to learn jack squat from you it. You have the wiggles? Is, is that a thing? Wiggles. The wiggles? Wiggles wobble, wiggles wobble. <laughs> is, is that real? Is it, I don't know. It sounds familiar. Okay, so you, they have the wiggles on one Door end. Door the explore. Door the explore, and then you have Game of Thrones on the other end. And there's like, <laughs> I guess it's kind of extreme, but you know what I yeah, mean. Yeah, like, exactly. It's the, the the gap. Again, there's not much middle ground. Of course, the middle ground I could think of are certain shows, probably like Psych. Psych. I find Psych very enjoyable. Um, well, a lot of those pro those procedural dramas are really violent, like yes. to, to the point where they're super edited here in Korea. Like, like I, see, it, see, yeah, it, yeah. CSI, CSI, CSI super edited here in Korea. Ed, edited by me, like they have like bur blurry bl uh, boxes over all like the dead corpses and stuff like that, and all the knife wounds and yeah. Oh, you remember the one episode where the, the rat came out of the, the homeless lady's mouth? Yeah. And he's like, they looked like she ratted herself out here in Korea. That was edited too. That's that's pretty gross. They edited the joke as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, unfortunately, they didn't edit the bad pun. Oh. Anyways, yes. Just you know, again, it just growing up like all yours. You all at Facebook stuff, you know. Like if you remember these, you know, like if you were born in the nineties, you know, of course you got the people like if you were born in ninety seven, you weren't really a nineties baby. Shut up. And it's like, well, ah, well. I, I was I was born in eighty eight. I don't remember the eighties, but there's a lot of great things from the eighties I remember, like turtles, transformers. Gummy, well, gummy bears, I think maybe it was nineties. Well, still, even those things they carried over into the nineties very, very well. And like a lot of the shows that we loved in the nineties didn't. Some of them carried over to the two thousands, but like most of them died out. Like, uh, I, I really enjoy seeing them get digitally mastered and just put on DVD. I and mean, we we have like I said, we have every episode of Angry Beavers. Yeah. We have you know a good bit of Ducktales and Darkwing Duck and Garfield and Friends. Garfield and Friends. Dude, Sam and Max. Sam and Max. Lance Bullies. The Tick. I mean. Spoon! <laughs> Captain Lemon! Ah! <laughs> the one, one more, like, like Arthur quits his team, so he has, like, Wooden Boy and Macaroni Duck. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a Macaroni Duck picture, like you make in kindergarten. He just, you get this one, Macaroni Duck, and he just throws it into a guy's face. Like, ah! <laughs> Uh, see what I mean? It's just the nineties were the nineties were pretty legit. I mean, obviously there's a lot of bad things that happened in the nineties. But Clinton, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah, Clinton, um, boy bands. <laughs> Seriously, boy bands. But boy bands are a thing here in Korea. Yes, they are very much so. Um, but you know, now I'm thinking about it. Britney Spears was hot in the nineties, wasn't she? Yeah, late nineties. Yeah, like ninety eight. Yeah. Same with Christina Aguilera. Um, and she, she couldn't sing back then either, but, you know, I'm a genie in bottle. Can't rub me the right way. 
<laughs> okay, music from the 90s sucked. Everything else from the 90s was awesome. I can still remember some good things about the 90s. Probably like the pop stars were even worse than now. And remember we Ace the Bass? I saw the sign. Oh it my opened gosh. up my eyes. I saw the sign. That was 90s? I thought that was an 80s song. That was definitely 90s. Acceptable. Acceptable. Gangsta's Paradise. Probably the first rap song I was like, yeah. I, I didn't even like, know what I didn't know what the half of what the heck half the song was about, I really but I like that it. song because of Amish Paradise by Weird Al. The thing is, Weird Al he, he has some stuff in the nineties. Oh, he had a lot he had great stuff in the nineties. Yeah. Well, I will say we're like, okay, I can't be getting a band in the nineties, but the first CD didn't come out until two thousand. Yeah. So I don't know if they count. No, no, they count. So there's just, just it's pretty legit. This voice. This voice. DC talk. DC freaking talk, dude. DC talk. DC Jesus talk. freak, man. In the light. I mean, oh my gosh. Holy moly. Okay, so obviously the music was pretty good. Okay, there was some good music in that. Yes. But, but well, like, I, now I think about it. I, oh, sorry. I, I think the 80s had better music yeah. than the 90s. But 90s yeah. had, 90s had some, some fun. Well, now I think about it. I made a comment that, you know, the pop was worse than it is now. I don't think so now that I think about it. The singing was worse, but the lyrics weren't nearly as bad. I mean, if you hear some of the songs, like Rihanna's super popular. Almost every single song, she's like, all right. Nah, 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 four yeah, lines, yeah. lines, copy and paste. I mean, a lot of them like that. So, like, the lyrics are just, and the four lines they have are really, like, suggestive. And it's like, okay, this is on every radio station. Little 13 year old, even 12, 10 year old girls, boys, they're singing this stuff. And it's like, okay, you don't know what that means. It's like when Justin Bieber first came out, he's singing stuff like, okay, there's no way you know, understand any of that. Maybe now he does. But, uh, swag, swag, swag on you. But, <laughs> hashtag swag, and everyone hates you for it. <laughs> Seriously, stop driving so fast, kid. Anyways. Wait, you got a speeding ticket? He almost like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Keyshawn Johnson, a retired NFL receiver, chased him down, waited until he pulled over, made him pull over, pull out, and started chewing him out because in his Porsche, he sped by going like 90, 100 miles an hour, and almost hit him and a lot of other people. He got a lot of trouble with his uh, driving because he YOLO. <laughs> Anyways, he needs to get his act together. But it's really sad seeing, you know. It, everyone's like that, though, honestly. Any, almost every pop star that started really young or really young actor or actress really turned out bad, Miley Cyrus. I mean, Miley Cyrus. Oh, my Lizzie God. Lohan. I mean, <laughs> seriously, Disney, stop it. Stop making shows starring little kids. They keep turning into horrible people. <laughs> stop it, Disney. Uh, I'm still waiting for that, that uh, Miss Gomez. She seems... She's slowly getting there, but she doesn't seem too bad. No, 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 no. So, so... It, it, Selena, don't change. By wonders of wonders, if this ever comes by you, Selena Gomez, stay a decent girl. There's going to be a lot of people pressuring you to, to, to go over the edge. They don't have your best interests in mind. They don't give a crap about you. They, they don't give a crap yeah. about your career. Think about your real fans, the ones who grew up watching you. I, it wasn't me. It was my niece. If you disappoint her, I'll stab you in the face. <laughs> Honestly, I remember watching Wizardly Whaley Places when I was like 13, 14. I thought Selena was really pretty back then, and I still do now. So, you know, I'm not going to lie. She was she was definitely a crush of mine when I was younger. Don't F this up. Yeah, and love like a love song. I don't care how bad or good it is. That is my jam, regardless. What's that song we were singing earlier? That was also, I'm pretty sure, a 90s song. Um... Every time we touch, I feel this feeling. And every time we kiss, I swear I could fly. My heart beats fast. I want this to last. I need you in my life. Anyone can tell us what the. I don't know. I kind of feel like I was maybe early. Maybe 8,000. Anyone can tell us what that song is. We appreciate it. Every time we touch, right? I'm pretty sure. touch? We'll have to look it up later. We'll have to look it up. But tell us anyway. This is why we have two drinks in. So we get top topic all the time? Most certainly. Another reason why the 90s was awesome. Okay, the new Avengers of Winnie and the Pooh was probably the greatest kids show ever invented. Ever. And when you're alone and there's nobody home, it's nice, nice to be able to count on a friend like Pooh Bear, Winnie the Pooh Bear. Anyway. Making for fun, chasing some hot movies. Okay. Um, again. Freaking TV shows. If it was for little kids or adults or whatever. I mean, well, that, that is a, the through line we have right here. We loved the media of the 90s. So if there's a reason why you like and or dislike the 90s outside of the very awesome and arguably the best TV shows ever created. And if you disagree, this will kill you. Tell us why. Why do you like 
the 90s outside of the media or why do you dislike the 90s outside of the media we want to know please leave your comments your your response videos do something right now i think we have one legitimate like that was <laughs> you we, we, so far we've gotten one like out of all our videos that wasn't one of us so <sighs> that, that's that makes you feel good inside we got 45 videos people yeah that's pretty sad it's pretty sad jojo you need to start watching more of these and start doing some response videos. You might remember some of the 90s. Jenna, I'm pretty sure, remembers more of the 90s than you do. Well, Jenna, yeah, she was born in 91. She was literally born in the beginning of the 90s. Biker Mice from Mars. <laughs> you don't know Biker Mice from Mars? Sewer Sharks? Wow, see, he's only mostly 90s. I'm all 90s. <laughs> I, I remember the Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes. Were pretty good. Tiny Tunes. Tiny, tiny Tunes. Animaniacs. <laughs> How do we forget Animania? Pinky and the Brain. Brain? Oh my goodness! There's okay. There's too many. There's too many to count. There's too many things for us to come up with. You you guys get the gist of what we're saying here. All right. The wow. Join us next time. Another two drinks in. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully it won't take us three weeks to do it. Thank you guys later. Love you. Bye. I'm in love with the '90s.